There you go guys, just a quick how to on how to take apart the 7985 uh, Eldorado rear caliper with the, with the park and brake. Now I've got to take it apart again and just check everything, make sure everything's alright and clean it up. I, I just wanted to test it to make sure we, the ratcheting system worked that I fixed last night. Uh, it works good. Uh, now that it's, I, well I just like pulling things apart so I thought I'd pull it apart again. Anyway, don't forget, take your clip and just keep ratcheting till that piston starts coming out. It'll get to a point, just look at your dust seal too, just help it, help it spread back. It'll get to a point where the spring will end up pushing it out once it's, once it's past the seal. So just help that dust seal back again. And watch your fingers too, because that, that spring's pretty strong. All right, there we go. And just slowly jiggle it out. Okay, so now that that's come out a little bit, hold it in there, undo the screw on the back to take your lever off. And then, nice and slow, bring her out with the worm gear, and just watch your dust cap as you're bringing the spring out, and there you go. And that's what it looks like as a complete assembly. Now one thing I noticed about these re-manufactured um, calipers, as you have a look at the piston, they're shocking. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take a file and a bit of emery and smooth that off because that, that's not helping the dust seal. When I pull it over the top, the burrs, I've cleaned up some of it, but I'm, I'm still not happy with it. So, yeah, and then now you pull your spring out. Take your worm gear out and then Pop your little pilot hole cover there, and that's your access to the cage here. So as I said, with your punch through there. Now I've set up a just something simple there, just to give you a bit of bit of clearance through the top, and just slowly, slowly tap away. have a look yep she's starting to come see when I originally pulled it out I took a photo of it to check to remember where the the clearance was how far out this was sitting from the base of the piston so pretty much that's all you have to do so I'll keep playing with this and once I get it all done and I'm happy and lubricated inside um, I'll do a video on how to put it all back together thank you